Founded MBS Show, episode number 52. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me live in the studio audience. Yay! <laughs> and anyway, I got my co-host here, Daniel Anthony. Hi, guys. And also joined by us is Char... Hello. Wow, so you're Charlie. Oh, yeah, hi. Hi, I'm Charlie. Uh, I don't think so the people on the Ustream yeah, can see on, you. Yeah, yeah, here you are. Yeah, you know what? Um, then That's all right. Move, move closer. Yeah. And no problem. Mm. Come, just join us on the sofa. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Um, is it comfortable for you? Because I am not comfortable right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel the seat is very. You know, I I think Dan is eaten too much. If if oh, you're yeah. watching at home, he's a bit chubby. So <laughs> very chubby. <laughs> he's a bit chubby right now. So I think I shall move to the side and. But yeah, I we've yeah. got a nice little slot. Just three of us. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway, um. We're here live. There's a whole bunch of people that I know and may not know. <laughs> if I don't know your name, I'm sorry. I'm Derpy that way, and that's why um, Derpy Hoof is our mascot. So anyway, <laughs> um, guess guess we always have a guess for the show. Not always, really, but yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, guess guess guess. No guess. What a surprise! <laughs> we started off with. No guests, and we're going to end. Start. Sorry, we're gonna start the year with no guests. Awesome. I'm derpy now. Anyway, in housekeeping, none because we are having fun. And who housekeep when they're having fun? Exactly. Well, so, just for housekeeping for now. Actually, this stream was set to be starting at 7:45 p.m. We're very, very <laughs> sorry that we got delayed an extremely long time, about almost three hours, because of. <laughs> Some venue confusion. We like to apologize for that. He just don't know what went wrong. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, that's the reason why Derpy is the mascot. Exactly. <laughs> so anyway, um, um, Charlie, do you have the paper? Do you have the book? Mm. Yeah. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Which paper? You know the one, the list and the names and the. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. yes. We'll get it, get it, get it, get it. Um, then tell a joke because I got no idea how to fill up time. Well, I'm not a very <laughs> funny person, as we all just did. We all tell that I just don't know what went wrong, courtesy of our very beautiful mascot right here. Mm. And we've yeah. had tons of fun today. You know, if you came out this morning to yeah. join us, and oh, thank you, Dan. Anyway, oh, okay. more, 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 more. Okay. Oh, oh my! These are really interesting. Well, no one goes through that. If you came out this morning to join us, thank you very much for coming. If you couldn't stay, then it's all right. Don't worry. This stream is especially for you. Hey, thank you. Thank you for coming, and I hope you had fun. Um, now, here's the interesting part. Um, as you can tell, we have a live studio audience who are not really paying attention. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, uh, okay. So you know. Okay, in here there's well bags of paper with stuff. So I'm just gonna do something with it, and let's see what happens because I got no idea what's going on. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Number is this? Is it? Is this? Yeah, it looks like a ten. Is it's a number ten. Number ten. Okay. Not those handwriting. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, we got number ten, and who's number ten? Number ten on the list. Wow, he is actually More here fans. tonight with us. More More fans. Fans. What? More fans. Fans. Come on up. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. <laughs> I just, I just want to thank this, this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, what a good way to start off the show, giving people something. Um, there goes my pocket money. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's start off with news. If you notice here, I'm reading from a script. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Um, bear with me for a while. Anyway, um, in today's news time. Fourth Dimension Entertainment are set to produce show accurate flushies. Woo! Flushies! flushies. <laughs> show accurate, you know, not felt made and stuff that freaks you out. You no, know, it look, can use looks like those magic mops or something like that. <laughs> I want a plushie. We all want so plushies. Anyway, the company Fourth Dimension Entertainment, we're well known for their books, graphic novels, and mangas, are going to try and sorry, um, try their hands at making My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Plush. They are set to make the main six pony plush and will be divided into two waves. The first wave of the series will include Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie. Their second wave will follow soon after. And we will. I'm <laughs> sorry, my god. I'm a bit parched. <laughs> Could you go and give me some water? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Actually, if you all notice, we're not in Papa Rich anymore. It's because of venue confusion. We're actually right here in Charlie's house, you know. 
Yeah, um, while Charis is gone, I'll try and finish up the news. Sorry, I'm looking at the script again. So, okay, um, where was I? Okay, uh, their second wave will follow soon and will include Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash. So anyway, um, each of the Pony Plush is going to be at $24.95, approximately $77.50. Um, expect to see them on sale in the spring of 2013. Uh, so links can affordable. be links can be found in the show notes. That is actually cheaper than a wheel of fine shirt. Yeah. More or less. So anyway, um, since we have a studio audience, we can get an insight on it. But seriously, for me, I've seen the plush and seventy-seven is really worth it. And how do I say this? I've seen the others out there, and they're not nice. And even white dust creation is a bit too expensive for me. So now for the price of like one white dove pony, you can get a whole main six in show accurate style. True indeed. So try it. Yeah, bigger. Oh yes. Yeah, it's ten inch in dimension. I'm not sure how tall or long it's going to be. All I know is ten inches. Ten inches is about that much, but. Well, how tall is it? That's a good question. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so uh, sorry. What do you think? I love plushies. <laughs> I think it's about time I should get one. Indeed. So um, no, need a plushie. Why don't we try Ian? What? What do you? think of this whole plus cheating? Uh, I think, for one, it's about time <laughs> that Hasbro have released something actually official from uh, the plushie line that's at least attempting to look as show accurate as possible because up until now, we've had to, or we as a community, have had to scrounge around looking okay. and sniping in eBay trying to get a good... Oh, yes! Yeah. And, yeah. and um, spending quite a bit of our either our salaries or pocket money to actually ship them over here to the other side of the world usually. But I think it's a good... Uh, it's an encouraging sign that Hasbro have decided to release some nice show accurate plushies that are affordable and huggable. Awesome. Yep. awesome. So um, let's try and get another one. Uh, let's see. Who Please. likes plushies? Come on. I mean, all of us like plushies, but who already has one in a sense? Anybody here already owns a plushie? I think the only oh. one is gone. Our previous yes, Zen. Oh, yeah. I have that, Zen. I have that that Rainbow Dash here. bag that's kind of like a plushie. Well, it's pretty uh, much. Awesome. Awesome. So, so anyway, so. um... Morpheus, you, you want something, uh, so tell us, what do you think about the plushy thing? Well, to be honest, I'm going to be uh, really honest with you, I've never, I haven't actually seen the plushies yet. Well, uh, you know what, you, since we're live... about it, show accurate, picture no, in your head. Uh, well, no, you, you really don't need to picture it, because since we're all live and recording and stuff, <gasps> because... That looks so good, it's like, whoa. This is going to be the plush? <laughs> I mean, and that's, and that's, like, has... Mel's getting a heart attack! That's, like, has really pants. So, um, this is what it's going to be. One so, oh my you know, God. I think I can deduce this by choosing which plushie to display and give random people in the audience <laughs> heart attacks, you know? Just, just <laughs> get the camera and watch the reaction as they see their favourite pony come out with plush form. Yeah, this goes out the UAC race best, you know? You should do a bronies react to plushies. <laughs> 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 I think it'll just be banned for inappropriate content of hard no, 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 just, just <laughs> take the plushie and throw it at them and they react. Okay. Like Tony sliding into a box. Okay, so anyway, um, that's news time. Really short since I'm too lazy to add any more news. So anyway, um, let's go for another yeah, name. One. Let's one. see. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Looking into the back and who is going to be drawn number... Oh, gosh, how do you do this? Dr. Handwriting, Dr. Folding. It's origami! Where? Oh, this is interesting. Huh? What? You drew number one? Number one. Number one, ah, uh, it's number one here. Oh, unfortunately, I'm number one isn't here. So, oh. what do we do? We got three. You, you know, um, number one is not here. You could have won something, but... Yeah. We're sorry. We're going for another draw right now. This is riveting. Oh, no. <laughs> Paper folding live on the camera. <laughs> okay. Number two. Number two? <laughs> I'm not joking with you guys. Seriously, I did you shake that back from me, Norman? Yes, I did. Number two. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, this is just number two. two. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. And we have woods. 
I only see the first name. Is it who you think it is? Yes, it is. Right, come up, Azman Arif, you have one more. You won this. This is uh, card drawing from Bernard. Bernard, yes, I mean, and it's and it's really good. It's really good. I Hard know. Work. I had a, I have an extra copy back home. I bought it. Uh, now, you have two. now you have two. Now you have two. So anyway, um, you had something special, right? Because of course, because I don't know anything about this because. <laughs> I'm kind of blind in this, so it's all you, man. It's well, all you. Because I had to coordinate this, and the results have been secret until now, since the moment you've all been waiting for the MBS Show Awards. Results are to be announced tonight. Woo! First of all, we had the Audience Choice Award for the most, the, the your, your favorite host award. We asked our listeners, who's your favorite host? And I think none of us can deny that our friend just took that prize home. Really? And and we also asked, and we had nom- nominations for who would be the craziest host on the show, who somebody would take chances. And the nominations for the craziest host, there are two nominees. First of all, Emilio Daniel, if you're watching this, you were nominated for the craziest host award. And the second nomination is the host who is crazy enough <coughs> to get the contact of the voice behind Apple Bloom. Normal as well. Yay! And I'm pleased to announce the winner for both prizes. What? Audience favorite and also the craziest award, aka the Rainbow Dash Award, is Norman Sanzo. Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, 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 I didn't know what to say. Well, um, thanks. I'm crying. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, uh, I have to say, um, thanks for the people that voted for me. But I, it's all internal rigging and stuff. <laughs> no, we nominated you for craziest, and we let the votes take it from there. Yeah, yeah that's what they. That's what you say. But everybody at home, they know. <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot. Well, we're in Charlie's home right now. So. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no problem, <laughs> right? So now, our next award is, we asked, who would you want to be stuck on a desert island with? Now, this is really, really funny because we have a three-way tie for the win. Oh, my. So, eliminating, we chose to eliminate whoever has already taken an award. The three nominees were Norman. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yours truly. I don't know who wants to be stuck on a desert island with me. Oh, God. Well, talking about and, and stuff. Oh. <laughs> exactly. You know, see, I can go on and on and on. You know? And, of course, our lovely host in Melbourne, if I'm not mistaken at the moment. <laughs> yes, Ruki. Anastasia Irina. If you're watching this, yes, you are nominated. Before, Some... before you announce who's the winner, the logical answer is you, you all know who. The logical answer yeah. is you all know who. But if you pick either any one of us, you're crazy. Yep. <laughs> so basically, after all the votes are counted, Anastasia Irina, congratulations. Yay! You are the winner for Yay! the Desert Yay! Island Survival Yay! Companion Award. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting award that we have. Now, next up, um, although she couldn't join us for the live stream, we're just going to announce... Our most interesting guest. Now, this is 100% voted for by our listeners. 100%. You have sent your votes in and you have told us who you thought was the most interesting guest in all 60 of our previous guests. We have 60 guests in the past. And the most interesting guest is won by none other than Michelle Kreber. Yay! Yay! Well deserved. Well deserved. She's a really interesting person once you get to talk to her. Of course, of oh, course. Um, if you're watching this in Las Vegas, say hi for her. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's just down the road, Las Vegas is unicorn. She's just there, yeah. just go and say, Michelle Kramer, you won! <laughs> and she'll think you're a crazy person. <laughs> <You're> security. <laughs> Get this madman out of the house. Okay, next one we have here is the most talkative guest. You know, why we have this is because we're a talk show. We talk, that's what we're meant to do. <laughs> So the highest votes for this award will go to someone who was actually here earlier today, and I sincerely hope you're watching right now, Vincent Pencil Point Fang. You have just taken home the Chatterbox Award from the Show. Awesome, awesome. 
So now we can move on to our final um, award that required that was from the completely from listeners' participation. We are going for the most awesome guest. <laughs> In fact, most interesting and most awesome often come together. Michelle Krieber, you take home two awards tonight. You know, I, I have a feeling that this... I have a feeling that this whole voting system is rigged. Rigged by who? <laughs> rigged by people. Like, okay, Michelle Krieber, she has fans. They rigged it, man. Of course, the fans, you know? <laughs> well. Okay, um, anyway, um... Give me a second here. Um, I think we could use a break, and I don't think we have break music. So, um, why don't we play a game? Why don't you try and do yours? All right. So yes, we've actually had a little interesting lineup for tonight, as you can see on the camera. Uh, we have pony blind bags, and we're gonna give them away. We're going to do it in a little bit interesting manner. We're going to have a quiz. Let the doctor handle it. <laughs> it's very simple. We're going to ask you a question. You can answer it. You can take home a blind bag. I say that's good. I say that's good. You know how much this costs locally? It's really expensive. You could buy a few drinks and some food, man. Not saying that you shouldn't waste your money. Star for, buy, buy, star buy, buy, for buy. one meal and you get a pony blind bag. <laughs> so how does Sounds like a good investment. Our questionnaire. Should you know what? We, we should draw the yeah. draw thing again. We should draw the thing. Fun. Yeah. yeah, we should draw. So the first one, we're going to make it easy for you. We're not going to text you. It'll be a very late, So let's not stress you out anymore than you're already stressed out at the moment. Uh, doctor, your folding is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, origami. Wait, it's actually so. Um, I don't have the paper. You have the paper? Hmm. Where's the paper? Oh, the paper's behind you. All right, so we just don't know what went wrong. Yeah, twenty-three. Number twenty-three. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Sorry, I have dyslexia now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my line. What wrong? I do not know what. <laughs> That's a good one. Talking you what about? Is the guess here? Where's the thirty-two? I know this is number. Ah, we don't have it. What are you doing? In. Oh, okay. I draw again. I win! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just took home two awards, my friend. Hey, you couldn't um, blame me for being greedy. <laughs> no, you can blame me for being awesome. <laughs> Blind bags. Okay, Blind bags. this is number 12. Number 12, much lower number. One. Is number 12 around? Who's that? On his left. Oh no, he's left. left. Oh. So sorry. Left. You could have won. You could have won. Yeah, third time. Oops. So. One doesn't count. Oops. So. Therefore, we keep you in this. That's a five. No, that's a five. A lucky number five. Who is it? Dude, put down the camera. Dasha and Elsman, you're taking home a prize. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. I forgot about the it's question. It's very simple, alright? If you have paid attention to enough episodes of My Little Pony, can you please tell me where is this screenshot yeah. of Fluttershy taken from? Oh god. Right. Oh. No idea. Oh. Okay, you guys can help, you guys can help. If you know you can help. It's creeping me out. Oh, it's it's uh, um what should we would you like a multiple? Uh, I don't know. Ah, yes. Should we look at the two? What season is it from? Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Pay attention to the background. I mean, he's asking what season is this from, from this picture. I think this one. Could it be from season three? Mm-hmm. I think it's from season three, right? Mm-hmm. Pictures from season three. Fluttershy mm-hmm. episodes. Fluttershy episodes. Oh. There are not many Fluttershy episodes. And she's smiling. She's happy. She's not stressed out like I am. What was that? Um, what was that? The it's even answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the which one, which one, which one? What was that? I'm sorry, folks at home. Keep calm. And and fuck wrong. Is that it? Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Hang on, just a moment. We have got a bank of questions, actually. All right. So, we're going to give you, so which we're gonna give you a second chance for this. Is, this time? Yeah. We're going to load the second number. number. Really sorry for that. Two. Uh, too many pinky pies. Three. Um, sorry, number three. Too many pinky pies. So, anyway, um, hurry up, because the folks at home are getting bored. 
with you. Just have, just building suspense, you know? Give them something to think about. Is it, what's going what on in his mind right now? He's coming out with one of them. This is my discovery! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something, something that they used to get rid of. They're making balloon animals outside. <laughs> All right, your backup question. Okay. Right, right here. Jeez. How many stars <laughs> on Lightning Dust Cutie Mark? Oh, oh, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Think about Cutie Marks. Look at Cutie Marks in your head. Cutie Marks. Can I give you a hint? A hint? Uh, do you know uh, what Twinkle Shine is? <clears throat> no. Yeah, I Cutie don't Marks think... are very similar. Well, <laughs> getting educated, yes. Because... I never really paid attention to like, that particular It's alright. You think, think about it. That's like that's like ponies with cutie marks. <laughs> We're oh. not talking about Twilight Sparkle here. You know? Four. E uh, wait, wait, wait. Adakah jawapan anda mutama? That was Malaysian, or is that your final answer? Signature from who wants to be a millionaire? Try minus one. What's your Three. answer? Three. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that was very dirty. It's actually 3.142. Okay. That was very dirty. Do you have another prize or you have another we just continue on because they want to know who win or won or something. Yeah. So, I don't know how we actually thought about this. I thought of asking, who do you find is the funniest host among us, you know? The three of us right here, I'm the one wearing white, the two wearing black, you know, they're like my bodyguards in a sense. So we we asked, who do you find the funniest? And we put all five of us there. I'm the serious guy. So at least pretty much one other guy who's playing the fool in the background. So thank you very much for voting me the funniest host. Yay! Yay! I the imagination part. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Wild, man. Speaking of imagination, we have another award for the most talkative host. Now, in a sense, we decided to call it the Pinkie Pie Award because Pinkie Pie can't shut up. <laughs> now, among the five hosts, there are only two hosts who have <laughs> just love Pinkie Pie so much. There's Tasha and there's me. And Tasha doesn't talk much. <laughs> so thank you much for voting, man. <laughs> I told you it's great. I told you it's great. Would I vote myself as a funny man? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what's the next one? All right. Now we're going for the next few awards, which are individually nominated by each of our hosts for their favorite guest. Each of the hosts got to pick one guest which they believe to be the best. Well, their favorite in a sense. So first of all, Norman, why don't you share who you chose to be the sh laureate for your Host Choice Award? You mean, who is the best? Who received your award? You know, you chose somebody to receive an award for, you know, huh. one, one, one particular show guest who was just, you know, your pick. Hmm, okay, um, back story with this one. It took me about, I think, five or four months. Could be longer, I don't remember. And communication with her was really hard. And she had to go to a lot of cons. And time zone difference really make it hard for me to do stuff. But once she was on, it was really awesome. And after that, we got to interview Final Draft. And, oh my! I'm sorry! Pepper Clark decided to pop in. <laughs> Do you know that there's this rule of turn off your phone? Didn't they doing movies? Yeah! Oh, Unfortunately, they took it down ever since, you know, the whole Nokia commercial was there. So anyway, um, my choice and winner, right? Yes, your choice and your winner. Okay. My choice and the winner is Michelle Kreber. Michelle, you have three awards for tonight. Thank you for being on and making this show awesome. You are awesome and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. So then, what else? What we else? just went off air. Oh. We derped. Did we record? It was recording. Hold on, we need to get back oh, there. Derp. Derp. <laughs> okay. Derp. Yeah. And we're back. We're sorry for that interruption. The internet just went down for a moment according to the announcement. 
Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, um, anyway, we're back right on courtesy of Malaysian internet. So, uh, if you missed out earlier, Norman just announced the winner of his choice for the Host Choice Award. Michelle Krieber, you're taking on three awards tonight. So next we ask Emilio Daniel, what, who he chose to be, you know, the recipient of this award on his end. Now, there was only one person on board when this guest was interviewed. Uh, but the thing is, he produced one of, I believe, to be one of the best interviews we actually had on the show. Very insightful, very beautiful content, and the guest who was sought after by Norman says, in fact, Norman went all the way to the guest to get this interview. Talk about, you know, dedication. media dedication and things like that. So, Gabriel Black Griffin Ground, you're currently on deployment. If you're watching this, congratulations. You are Emilio Daniels. He's on the phone. Yeah, you're right. Uh, if you know the difference, you're awesome. Mm -hmm. Alright, next we have Ta Anastasia Irina, if you're watching this. Well, this was one of the most daring moves <laughs> ever done on online media. Nobody in the world, I believe, has ever done this before. She asked a celebrity musician's hand in marriage. <laughs> As awkward as it sounded, and you know, as we talk about impossible love, you remember this guest. Yes, it was on our show. You have Landau, also known as the Living Tombstone. You are the winner for Tasha Irina's Host Choice Award. Yay! Uh, I remember that uh, request. I wonder if she talked to Tombstone's sister about it. <laughs> yeah, Tombstone told her to go through the sister because the sister is a manager. Yeah, yeah, true indeed. Let's just see how it goes. All right. And next we have Charlie's award. Charlie also took his pick for, because he's a host as well, so he got a chance to choose who he wanted to select as the host choice award winner for his mm. choice. I use the word choice too. Choice. <laughs> Those are choice words. Well, Spot for choice. For my um, choice award thingy, <laughs> <laughs> I have selected um, an individual uh, guest that is slightly different from the rest of the fandom. In the sense that in what he does is not so much in the creative arts field, but rather in the science field. I'm talking about our guest, the science pony, Calpain of EQD. Yay! Uh, one more thing I have to mention. Uh, I have to thank Red Pair for getting me Calpain, and thank you so much, Red Pair, if you're watching this. You're awesome! Yeah. Calpain, you'll be taking my award as well. And now for my choice of an for my host choice award. Thank you very much for coming here. Hi. Thanks. Yeah, so oh. yeah, we just had other guests who's leaving, so yeah, we just have to say goodbye yeah. to him. Oh. Uh, Alright, let's show him out. Just give us a moment, we'll be right back. So anyway, um, in this intermission, I think the best yeah, thing to do is <laughs> I just turned the time, what time chill. You know, like I was saying, I needed to get across some water and then like no oh, oh, oh we're on. Yeah, yeah, we're on. We're back on, yes. Everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry for that delay. And so... I needed to get water. Yes, we're all very thirsty right here. Malaysia weather's pretty hot, you know? Talk about it in a sense. So, what is going, going on? on? What is that sound? That's it's really loud. Where is it coming from? Oh, it's coming from here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm sorry. Alright, we're back. And right here, we're looking at a couple more awards. <coughs> and uh, before we continue on, my choice for the host choice award. It's one guest that has left a lot of wisdom in our show. And you know, he gives a lot of wisdom, he doesn't have white hair, in fact he doesn't have hair at all. <laughs> and this man has proven to be one of the most influential bronies out there in my heart because he's the last person on earth who you think will be a brony. Dusty Cat Rhodes, congratulations! <laughs> So you want to continue on with one more draw because we have two more prizes to give out after this? Yeah. Sure, I, I have one here, I think. Well, we have a lot less like guests that. right now. All of you got a really, really high chance of winning. <laughs> you know? Please, please, please. What number why? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, um, number 23. 23? We just got 32 and now we get 23. So is there 23? 23. 23. Who's 23? Why are the numbers in random sequence? Who wrote this? Mm -hmm. Like... <laughs> No, no, no 23. There is no 23. No, there's no 23. 23 doesn't exist. Well, more and high chance for you. Two, two high numbers. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no. We if you're wondering how this works, we gave everyone a random number. We're drawing it from that little bag right there. Number eight. Hyper origami work. Number eight around. 
Oh, no. I'm sorry, number eight isn't around as well. Who is it? Min Hong. Oh. oh yeah. Well, the high chances for studio audience to win something is awesome. Give me a second, Origami's. Ah, number 17. Number 17? Oh, number 17! Oh. Let's see, number 17, where are we? Who is this number 70 person that you're talking about? No, not here as well. Just oh. left, in fact. Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Just left. Well, the luck. Okay, um, a smaller number. Maybe high chance? Ooh, small number, small numbers, yes! We have to give a question, right? No, I'm just gonna give it away. Who is it? Are you serious? Yes. What? Are we gonna ask questions? He can answer the question. Of course he can answer the question. Really? He can really answer questions. Yeah. Ian Chia, please step up. Who oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me who wrote Fallout is not Chia. I can't oh. That's correct. Yeah. It's in the question. Yeah. I have proof. <laughs> I have proof. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's there. It's there. It's in the question. I was ridiculously well, here, a number of us surely have the answer already. I didn't, to be honest. I don't know what number it is. I, I don't even read. <laughs> I look at it. That's thicker than the Bible, man. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Uh, move on, next one, next one. Move on, move on. You know, so now we come down to our final two awards for the night. We have Guest of the Year. Ooh. Who we all nominate, who all the show hosts have voted for and we've chosen. I got, I got a big chance of who's going to win. Oh, I think we do. Our first nominee is a pony, a pony, <laughs> someone who's very, very inspirational in the fandom and has been a pioneer and has led a lot of people into amazing lengths in the fandom. Someone who's brought all bronies together from ultimate distances. But they wish Jessica they were Blank, Purple Tinker, nominee for Jess of the Year. Our second nominee has already won an award. He's also the one that Norman chased after down in Singapore. Well, Gabriel Brown, we hope you're having a great time. You're nominated for Guest of the Year as well. I thought nominee also has walked away with an award. <laughs> we have Dusty Cat, Ooh, my. also nominated for Guest of the Year. Yeah! <laughs> so, interesting fact. I'm sorry, Dusty. I cannot talk. Interesting fact about Dusty. He's in um, Los Pegasus you know, Unicorn. Yeah, he's in Las Pegasus Unicorn right now. In fact, so if you're there, like, you know, listening in, I hope you are. Yeah, we all do. You know, and of course our next. Nominee is pretty obvious. She could not be not nominated in this. The beautiful lady behind Mich uh, Michelle Kreber. <laughs> the beautiful lady behind Apple Bloom, Michelle Kreber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she actually is a pony. <laughs> yes, that's very true. Yeah, guys, um, for you at home thinking that we're so pro, that we do good show, we derp a lot. Yeah, so this is the real deal about what derp, happens derp, between derp, little chops. You know. Norman derp, derp, has derp, magical derp. abilities. Magical editing skills. I, Power that is bequeathed to us from audacity. <laughs> True that. I'm a wizard. <laughs> Which also tends to crash us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and our last nominee was our final guest of the year. I mean, this year that we currently ended Ooh. one week ago. DB Pony, you are nominated for Guest of the Year. <laughs> so, Norman, you have the honor of announcing who is our Guest of the Year. Yes. So, um, I told the story again, and I don't need to tell it uh, twice, and i guessing you all know from the results or the nominees. Like I said, this show is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> the, the winner for guest of the year? Yes of the year. The winner for guest of the year is Michelle Creeper. Yay! Yeah. 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 of the night, Michelle. If she keeps this up, she's gonna have an MBS show cutie mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> uh, she actually told us she wants an ice hockey cutie mark. Yeah. Ice hockey. No, but that's the reason why Apple Blue's a blank flank. So suddenly one day, they derp in the office and they sort our vector out. <laughs> <laughs> so our final award for the night is something that's a bit closer to home. Oh. We isolated out the Malaysian guests. Oh. And we had a nomination for Malaysian Brony of the Year. Okay. With three nominees for this award. Come on, oh, why really is this fighting with me right now? Come on. 
All right. So first of all, we have the person who has changed the way we use the internet. Actually, it's going to be more oh. smaller because it's not. Wider. The trouble is that a lot of us spend all our time on this one particular website. <laughs> oh, no kidding! Because you know, suddenly someone logs into your computer and says, "I didn't sign up for this." And what is this? This, this is none other than a Facebook modification pony hoof. Ungik Pam, the lead developer of pony hoof, you are nominated for Malaysian Pony of the Year. Woo! The second one celebrates his birthday today. Ooh. So we only had two people celebrating our birthday today. One was a girl, one was a guy. So there's one guy celebrating his birthday. MLJ Han Mills, nominated for Malaysian Brony of the Year. <laughs> our third nominee is not so close to home. Aww. But here's a fun fact. He's half Malaysian. Really now? Yes. That's interesting. In fact... He's the one with Malaysian blood who's been contributing to Balloon Party. Wow. Is it a video? <laughs> he can contribute to Balloon Party. Oh, okay. As much as he should have, you know. <laughs> anyway, by, by the way, all of us on the show, we are disqualified from this award <laughs> to avoid rigging. <laughs> <laughs> so, this person lives in Canada, but here in Malaysia, you're still Malaysian to us. Assertive Fluttershy. You are the of the year. And the last nominee for Malaysian Brony of the Year was the one that put a bit of a Malaysian essence in BronyCon. Ooh, my, who is it? You're the same person that had lots and lots of views on a YouTube channel for doing a PMB. Now, PMBs are everywhere. But basically, what is PMB? Let's just um, tell people out there who do not yeah. know what PMB is because. I have a feeling that people don't know what PMV means. Okay. Is it personal music or personal movie viewer? Viewer? Yeah, it's that? not because that's the, that's what never ever use laptops for. Wow. They call that not pretty PMV. masterful videos. <laughs> is that it? actually that is pretty that is somewhat what we would like to call what this guy does. PMV actually stands for Ponyfied Music Video. That's what I think it stands for at least. It is. I, I thought it was Pony Music Video. Pony, Pony Music Video. Pony 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 music Pony. Video. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know. And. The last nominee for Malaysian Brony of the Year, known on YouTube as Mandarin Orange, Jimmy Lee. Woo! Is that true? It's Mandarin Orange. Mandarin Orange. And as he, he mentioned to us, it has nothing to do with mm bananas. <laughs> <laughs> no? So, Charlie, why don't you announce the award for Malaysian Brony of the Oh, Mandarin Orange. <laughs> Exactly! Jimmy Lee, Mandarin Orange! Nation! Brony of the Year! I'm not gonna eat shit. Dirt lost card. Anyway, we still got the recording. Yes, okay. Thank you for watching. Three. Yeah, Malaysian Internet. Love you. Let my dad win the match. Welcome back. Yeah. Go ahead. Internet dubs, stream X. <laughs> yeah, we should we should Unified. do that. So, um, yeah. Brock to you by <laughs> no, so, um, Not Brock taken from you. Yeah, <laughs> 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 now we're live and okay. we're back. So, uh, guys, sorry for what just happened just now. Um, like they joke around internet. Yeah. So and um, it came back suddenly. So just to recap for you, who are the nominees? Let's just run through. The nominees for. As we said earlier, this will be out on the show much later. The nominees for Guest of the Year, we had Purple Tinker, Gabriel, Black Griffin, Gra- <laughs> what? Uh, Black Griffin, Black Griffin, Black Griffin, Gabriel Brown, DB no, Pony, is, uh... Dusty Cat Rhodes, and Michelle Krieber. And without much doubt, the winner for Guest of the Year is Michelle Krieber. Yeah! Four awards taken home by her. And now we have the Malaysian Brony of the Year, which is the biggest award that we're giving out tonight. And after all your votes, after all the nominations... The four nominees are Jimmy Lee, Mandarin Orange, who is the PMB maker, Brony Musician and Tumblr Hooligan, <laughs> MLJ Han, also known as Meals, Pony Hoof Developer, yes, he is Malaysian, Ng Yik Pang, and 
half Malaysian, not res currently residing in Malaysia, but in Canada, if you're watching, Assertive Fluttershy is also nominated for Malaysian of the Year. And the winner for Malaysian Brony of the Year, as it just flew by our eyes earlier while you were not looking, Jimmy Lee, also known as <laughs> Man of the Year. Thank you for putting us out at BronyCon, you know, people are telling us how, you know, you put a TV in front of Applejack. <laughs> or you put a silly pony, it can get you kicked in the ass. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> well, so, um, are we done with the... Yeah, we're done with the awards. Thank you very much for all of you who voted, all of you who participated. Every single vote counted. And yep, you got your voice out, you told us who you love, and also who you don't really love. So, yep, let's move on. Yeah, uh, before we move on, I want to give um, Who's a Silly Pony set. So let's do a random draw. Mm. Random draw. Random, 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 random. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What? Number 26. Do we, do we went high enough? It's 26 now, we didn't go high enough. So, um, is that any? Because I remember the number is something. No, we don't know. Okay, number 26 is gone. Oh, let's see. Something's wrong with the net. We lost, we lost. Hold on a second. Thank you, you guys. Three days. Lucky okay. into this. Thank you. I'm punished, man. I've always gone to kids. I'm going to make that wallpaper someday. <laughs> so, Norman, what's the next number that you've drawn yesterday? Is, Giveaways once again. 37. See, it must be rigged. It draws consecutive numbers so much. Do that. You guys are watching, you guys are watching this, right? I, I, I'm shuffling this as far as I can. Real life? You're going to shuffle the real way. So you pull it in front and do the Gangnam style. <laughs> are we live? Yeah, we're live. All right, good. Sorry for the jerk. Internet. That's why I trust cable better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, 20. Number 20, yes. Oh, he just left. Oh, man, he just left. Uh, so, you know, no silly pony for him. Yep. This thing is rigged. Seriously, yeah. this thing is rigged. <laughs> if you can find a way to rig fingers, do let us know. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this keeps sucks. Numbers just keep going up. Ah, looking, people have actually left. Some people are not here. So only people who are currently with us are eligible to win. And so we're very sorry for the delay for all of you wanted to be there. You know? <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was, that was the number 33. What the hell? <laughs> Doc, did you sh are you sure? Never to retreat is afternoon, I swear. Yeah, it was 33 people at one stage. No, I'm sorry. Origami. You got an ambigram number. No matter how you turn it, it's the same number. It was 25, by the way. <laughs> you know. Ambigrams are awesome. I have a feeling that this game is free. Okay. <laughs> how many times was it? <laughs> okay, it's number 11. Let's say we have a number yeah. 11. Let's go. Oh, no, he's not here. Ah. What did you do? Okay. Oh, I, I I feel that this game is rigged, and I'm embarrassing myself in front of a live studio audience and a live network. <laughs> Twenty nine. Oh gosh. How about you just close your eyes and randomly point at a name on the paper? Ooh, yo, no, then somebody else is gonna win a prize again. <laughs> <laughs> that will be even big. What's this? Okay, hold on. I need to, I need to restart the stream because every time we start, the internet just gets worse and worse and worse until it crashes. It starts nice for some reason. I'll log off here then. No, no, it's not that. It's not... Is it because and everybody is back? Could no, be? it's not that. It can't be. You have Unify. Unify is supposed to be robust. This is not yeah, but like... donation. No, it, just, it, it starts nice. Are we it's nice. Then it goes down. Are we live? Yeah, now we're live. We're back on. <sighs> Welcome back. Sorry again. We have a number. Fire. This is the MBS show live episode taken from you by Unify. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't clog up the tubes? <laughs> tubes. <laughs> the internet. Okay. A series of tubes. <laughs> so anyway, after five or six times of drawing number, I got a number. Now let's see if we got a winner. But she's not here. No! Oh, well, that's what ah. happened to me. Well, you know, we would really love to, you know, give up our awards if we could. Um, next year. Let's hope we have we a. We learn next from year. our mistakes. Let's hope we have a next year after this debacle. <laughs> <laughs> we need to remove that number. Very, very sure. No, you can choose if you want to. No, we're not fair. We'll be picking my favorite kid. Aww. And my favorite kid is Fluttershy, by the way. Okay, okay. Let's see who we have. 
Oh no! He just left his world! <laughs> Charlie, I hope you're not too attached to that table because Norman might flip it. Oh no! no. <laughs> it's glass, man, it's glass! I'll find a way. Uh, why can't you just... Okay. Then okay. he reached for his MacBook instead. <laughs> <laughs> right. 14. No! Gone is getting... Well, we're gonna go through the last <laughs> This is rigged. The yeah. summer rigged. Your fingers raised. Left before the... Let's go prepared. Okay. Rigged. Didn't we just draw that a minute ago? Oh, oh no. Well, he decided not to come. We're sorry. You know what? <clears throat> you know what? Okay, let, 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 let's just think, okay, who can yes. answer? Yeah, let's, 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 let's do a This is a, 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 this is a really, really great prize we have a right here. Question. And this is a floor question. The first person to answer this question walks home. Okay. Make it a really hard one. Make really it a really hard, hard, hard one. one. All right. Oh, this is oh, hard. I'm worried. <laughs> 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 this is Go back the camera down on the way. It's okay. Anybody who can answer this question, you walk away with a prize. One chance. But right? please don't make so much noise. We don't want the police to come and confuse with <laughs> yeah. what's going on. In fact, on the try way to, here, try, I get stopped by the cops because okay. I don't know. I do somehow probably I look into this. Everyone, pay attention, all right? So, okay, anyway, I'll raise your hand. I'll pick. Okay, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna lay back and look okay, cool. This and question. And the reason why I'm wearing glasses can't see things from that. <laughs> this question is quite funny because it's a spelling question. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> In season three, episode ten, keep calm and flutter on. This Scott says. It's hardly his fault that the Supterin finds the term something fishy to be offensive. And he spelled Supterin. Ooh, okay. Wow. Uh, the answer is S O U P T E R I N E. Oh, no, no, no. sorry. Go Next on, question. Go. Thank you no. very much for trying. We'll, we'll just keep that one because I see nobody was trying to raise their hand to spell that one because this is really hard. Yeah. It's a bit hard. Well, you, know, you got to work for this, people. What are you talking about the question? It's All right. French word. How is it know how to spell it? It's probably a freaking silent accent. Well, time like to blame the You're part of French, French into the show. Actually, You're part French. No, I'm part Dutch. Get it out. <laughs> 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 uh, the correct spelling is S O U P T U R E E N. Soup to read. So, okay. oh, soup tarot. Hey, actually, spell soup. Ah, next question. Anybody who can answer, get away. Right. Get away. Get away. Run away. Uh, season two, episode twenty-two. Hurricane Fluttershy. What was Fluttershy's original wind power? Oh. Over nine thousand. <laughs> um, over nine. Elsman, Elsman race first because I saw his race first. One chance, huh? But if you if you fail, I have to give it to Eric. <laughs> All right, we have one chance. What is Shai's home for reformed republics? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what's the what's the okay, Eric, what, what, what is it? What's it? How much? Zero point five. <laughs> something already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good with numbers. Yeah. Dude, what do you work at? What do you work at, by the way? Huh? What do you work at, by the way? I'm a freelance yeah. writer, by the way. Oh, awesome. You're the first writer I met who's good at math. Okay. Good job. Good job. Say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. I'm serious. I haven't met writers who are good at math. I'm a writer. I suck at math. That's great. Now, what comes after four? <laughs> so, uh, Everyone tells me pie, but pie is food. So anyway... Um, so we have one last announcement to make. Oh, really? Not? We actually have one more award that we didn't really give out earlier. Well, we're giving out now. We asked our listeners to vote on their favorite partner. We have a few people whom we've learned a lot from. Podcasts that have worked with us and we have worked with. And... We actually only have about four podcasts we've ever worked with. First one is the one that I actually run for my university, which nobody cares about. <laughs> it's called Lions, the unofficial Taylor's University podcast. So true. <laughs> yeah, understood. Nobody cares about Taylor's, exactly. <laughs> See, so second one we have, run by our friend Ethan Powell, US, Alicorn Radio. It's a nominee Ooh. of this award. Well, there are only four choices, so it's nominated anyway. <laughs> Next one, this is a shout out to your Brony Time with Alpha and Five Iron. Thank you very much for all the contributions you've helped with us, we helped you and all that, you know. It's been really great working with you all. And our good friends, Chef Sandy and Apple Cider from Brony. <laughs> As 
you can tell from the cheer in the crowd earlier, the winner is pretty obvious. Apple Cider and Chef Sandy, you are our honest. Yeah. Congratulations to Bronyville. That's awesome. Yay. Yep. All right, that's it. We're done for the awards. So, um, let's see. Okay, we've done the awards. We don't have guest time. Um, I think we should give out another prize. And let's just hope this number is not rigged. <laughs> you know, remember? Apple Cider, Chef Sandy, if you're watching this right now, we know you're recording in about 3-4 <laughs> hours time. They're at Pegasus. Oh, they're both at Pegasus. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Screw this number. Why don't you just put the uh, numbers? Question. Let's start picking letters out of the question? keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is more number. We drew that earlier. That's, that's 11. My <laughs> eyesight's getting bad. Who is this? Who? What's your name? Shark? You just love a name, Shark. <laughs> Son of a minor cadence. Oh, it's you. you. So now, step up to answer your question. No, I'm just gonna give away. Is your name really Shark? No, that's not the question, but is your name really Shark? No. Silent Hacker is a killer. Huh? <laughs> what? Well, yeah, Shark works. Yeah. <laughs> so here's an art cover of <laughs> Oh, there's no question, alright. So Seriously? Say hi to the camera. Bernard Owl's original. Say hi, just not Bernard. Say hi to the camera. No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you just looked at the camera so I'm like, what are you saying? Okay, I'm gonna get Alright. So anyway, we got three blind bags to give away because I'm not gonna bring them. I'm not gonna bring them home, man. So no, you know, one guy walking around in the middle of the night looking at you know this pink unicorn on the cover. <laughs> because not by the cops say, "Ah, funny. What is this? What is this?" <laughs> well, we, we not that's not going well. Doc, why <laughs> don't you try? Oh, yes. the, the the numbers are limited now, yeah, so let's okay. try. I think, let's, I, think let's... I think we can't really. Uh, everyone here is gonna walk home with a prize, probably. Oh. So let's look at the next number. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, this guy, I think it's a very small number and I got a good chance. Okay. Already. Move on. What? You Bangra. Off camera Bangra. Who is that? Nothing? You know what? Give me a second, I'm going to get more prizes because... In fact, our next prize is going to be given... Okay, so anyway, um, this, if you know... Is my favorite card game. I talk about it a lot on the show, and it's uh, the, because of the tape. <laughs> <laughs> and the company here, uh, Bushiro, is going to be localizing ponies for Japan. Not here, Japan. Yeah, true. It is. But everybody likes Japanese stuff, and they want to w- listen to ponies in Japanese. So anyway, <laughs> I'm not giving this away. I'm, I, what's important is in the box. Made in Japan. So this. The boxing site here is well, gonna be awesome, I think. My Notice, you know, paper tape. Yeah. Uh, sorry so for the professional. So, right. so inside are uh, custom made pony buttons and Ooh. every little button, cutie marks and things like that. You know, go out and show up. You can't if you don't have a wheeler fine shirt or you don't have a pony shirt, you know, put it on your bag, put it on your laptop bag. These things are undeniable. <laughs> You see three balloons, blue, yellow, blue. There is no other show on the planet which you can mistake. Three blue diamonds, no other show in the world has any that sequence. It's like some bro code between us. So, you know, these things are... Yeah, some sort of bro code in a way. Well, you know what? I just want to give stuff away, so... Here you go, Alexander. Wow. Rainbow Dash cutie mark and Rainbow Dash Yay! Yeah, no one's feeling very generous. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Where ponies represent? Which market are the ponies represent? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thought of questions? 
Yeah, we have got a few. We've got three more blind bags to give away. That's yeah. open up to the floor. The quiz is still on. You know what? Um, it's I, a question. I'm not to, going to. Yeah, I, I'm don't not bother. It's how, don't it's, bother. It's how these people are, you know, so over analytic of the show. So, we, uh, yeah, as um, fans of the show, we have analyzed almost every episode of stuff. <laughs> See? I'm sure some of you might know the answers to these odd questions which we popped up. I'm going to throw a question to you guys. So just raise Ooh. your hand. Okay. And Norman, you take will answer the next one. So you mean I can't win a prize? No? Uh, I think you're banned from it. <laughs> You've won it See, now. he mentioned, you are the one who overanalyzes the show. I should be eligible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching it half a speed. That's, that's true, that's true. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay um, uh, the next... Then I'll pick who is going to win then. Oh, so the Here is the next, next guy. question. It would be simple if you paid attention to the credits. Please tell me who wrote Lesson Zero. Princess Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how fail I am. Oh, it's an easy one. That was my favorite uh, episode. I don't one. even know. It's it, our guys. favorite episode. You know, we, we, if it's three of you take turns, there's only about four writers on the show. Just shoot names. I mean, don't shout. Yeah, really, there's uh, four. Okay. Uh, James Wookie Rooter? That's the director. No, the director. no, no. If the director wrote stuff... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. Sorry. Yes, it's all right, it's all right. It's a good try. It was a good try. Yeah, Talking you. about directors writing for shows, did you know... I could be wrong, but I just want to kill time. Um, did you know that the movie Transformers, uh, the movie, um, is Michael Bay, right? I yeah. think he wrote the show. Ooh. Yeah. I think so. Then I explain the chocolate milk explosion. Ah, that show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That show sucks. I'm just buying up time so someone could find an answer. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess and just say All right. R.A. Larson. Is it true? Good try, good try, but that's not it. Oh. See, see, see. see no, no, no. Megan McCarthy. Yes, Megan McCarthy. <laughs> 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 see, see, he right. took out his iPad. This shows the power of research. Would you guys believe Megan McCarthy was actually my first choice? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> because, you know, I cycled through all that. Actually, my first choice was Amy Keating Rogers, to be honest. Are we finishing up the last two? Yeah, let's do it, man. Alright, next. I don't, I don't want to go home with this. I just want to yeah, give it away. Yeah, he stopped by the cops. He's not going to go home well, no? See? <laughs> no. It's not going to The reason why is easy. My bag is heavy and I want to make it lighter. He decided to go <laughs> with a gigantic MacBook. Right. Not next just my question. bag. <laughs> next question. I carry a 2.5 kg laptop, no problem. I drive a one ton car. It's very simple. I bet most of you could understand, uh, could answer. So I think it will be more like a speed contest to see who raises their hands first. It's a fandom related question. Oh, oh what okay. is CSI yeah. Mad Max known for doing? Ian. Uh, drawing comics. Correct. Ah! Yes. Oh, again. Two for two. Yes. All right. Last one. You gotta go through one more. Question. Last one. <laughs> Double whammy, double whammy. Give it two questions. two questions. Who can answer two questions gets it. Oh, no. Make it like okay, that. Okay, okay. Alright, one hard one, one simple. So, basically everybody's eligible then. Okay. One from the list, one not. <laughs> one from the list and one not. One from, I got host, no idea. One from a host. I got no idea. The question you come up with right now. You can make it as easy as you want, as hard as you want. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Put it this right. way. <clears throat> question from the list that is... You have to pass both questions to get it. Oh, <laughs> really? Ah, here we go. We give you a lunch. Season 2, episode 6, The Cutie Box. Apple Bloom speaks French. She says, Sacre bleu. Tu de marque du tea. Qu'est-ce que tu sais? Je crois qu'on sait. Please provide your best translation of this phrase. Wow, that's... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's hear it, let's hear it. Is that a hard question or a question? I'm trying this because... Not because I'm Dutch and I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I think she says, um... Oh have... my goodness, another cutie mark. What? I can speak French? Oh my god, that is correct! We You need to pass the second one. Then anybody's eligible to answer Try this. Try it again. <laughs> no, no, he, if, he, if he answers the second one, he gets it. So what's yeah. your second question? You, let's, what did you do? Uh, two out of three? <laughs> depends. Two out of three. Give it two out of three. Do the list, do the list. How about this? I'm not okay. No, you're right. yeah, we can take it from the list if you want. If you want, if you can. If I ask, I ask from Tumblr version. Nah. Oh god, okay, um, try. Question. The next question from the list is simple. What? I think anybody could answer this one. You're giving it a year, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Would you like to try this question? Uh, simple. Who composed the score for MLP FIM? Well, <laughs> um, I know okay. uh, Daniel Ingram. Yeah. No. Daniel. No. No. You said Daniel Ingram. What was the score? The score. score. Oh, the score. score. Not the score. songs. Okay, it's, that's different. Uh, all I know is Anderson. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson, huh? <laughs> 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 Not him. Yeah, I, I yes. we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. But so, you have one time. for Ian, one for Morphe. Morphe. That's how it works. Okay, okay. Time break, then. okay so now. No, whoever answers next one gets one. Whoever touches two first wins. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For okay. you. Everyone. Next from the, the question list? master right here. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm glad you asked all those questions. Oh, I don't okay. want to answer anymore. Okay. As long as you paid attention to the podcast, you should be able to get this, alright? Oh my. Oh my. I think we have to. I don't even pay attention to the podcast. <laughs> You're that short memory. <laughs> I'm the one with short memory. Goldfish. Where did I put Final my laptop? Final draft oh, there it is. is known for doing what? Who? I couldn't hear. What is it? Final draft oh. is known for doing what? Okay, you, want you, want you want me right? to take it? It's announced. You decide. Okay. okay. So you raise your hand. Podcast. Would more you call specific. it? Be more specific. Um, That's like saying something. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like saying something. Like this. So, uh, um... Uh, I really actually understand. I shouldn't be eligible because I applied Ever to EFN for my internship. Ian got it actually. Is it? Ever Ever free radio Ever free is one of the. Oh, is correct. In fact, awesome. there is an updated answer to this. In January this year, what did Everfree Radio change their name to? <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> I know this one. Okay, it's yours. Okay. From oh, Everfree oh, oh. Network. Correct. <laughs> That's it. That's but it. So I still have to get one more question to be fair. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Oh, okay. You didn't get the full one. Okay. Okay. So, um, so one questions. more. A lot of us have one answer. Did right. you know the so it's, 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 I don't give the number. I I we have enough of numbers for the it. night. When we do with numbers, everything can go right. You know. There's too much question. <laughs> Try it yourself, Alex. Find some answers. Wikipedia. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a fair question. In fact, it will be one that I'll choose. Alright. Okay. Please tell me who made Friendship is Witchcraft 2. Oh. oh, I, I'm i sorry, I can't answer that because I never pay attention to the... To Part of the name is on my shirt. <laughs> oh. Pinkie Pie? Back with all. Pinkie Pie wrote Friendship is Witchcraft? Oh my. <laughs> That's the secret. Oh my. I know. Mm. No, 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 but... Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Correct. Wow. Yay! Yeah, he did. Yeah, you got the word there. <laughs> he won. Yeah, he won. Congratulations, Morpheus. Congratulations. Morpheus yeah, got it right. fair. I he just didn't get the name really right. <laughs> so close. That concludes our prize giving ceremony for tonight. Guys. All right. The final grand prize because I'm a uh, cheat that way. So here is the full set of custom made oh, oh, wow. buttons by myself, all 26. Wow. And wow. you can win this easily. For all our listeners or? No, just for the audience because oh, if okay. I want to ship out, that's going to cost me money. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm generous, but not that generous. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? Let's make it open. I'll pay for shipping, in fact. Really? No, but how do oh. you answer them? Because... How about this? Oh. We ask um, a question who emails us the first answer. You know, our email inbox could use some bringing. Yeah, but the thing bring is, it's kind of... necessary now. Yeah, then. correct. Right, true. So anyway, okay. This is going to be a... I got a big heart. Yes, you do. That's one for you. Yes, you do. So this is going to... be a jar? <laughs> no? <laughs> I think I, I have a jar of sand, you know? No place for a heart. <laughs> <laughs> you have no heart then. Okay, anyway. My heart's here! It's not a jar in somebody's freezer. <laughs> so you say... <laughs> So anyway, um, this question is going to be easy and simple. Why is um, Daniel single? Where's the good one? Even I can't answer that. <laughs> Your reject button is always on. Just <laughs> <laughs> realize the phone is off the whole time. <laughs> he, he just hasn't found Mrs. Wright yet. Oh, oh, oh. I found Mrs. Wright. Her name is Pinkie Pie. His face is in real life. Real life, Mrs. Wright. Oh, oh. That's the answer you need to tell yourself. So anyway, I met the real life Pinkie Pie, you know. You're strange. Let's take a full long story. Just, just this long story, alright? Okay. okay. I asked her out, so. Okay, anyway. You, you know who you are. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, 
The question is simple. There's two parts to this. You need to answer two parts. Got it. Question number one is how many episodes numbered episodes do the MB show MBS show has? Numbered episodes. Including this one or not? Yes. Don't answer because, because I know the answer. Can I try? No! Oh, you're no. part of the crew! Oh, shit. You went off again. But you ne- never see my mind. In oh. fact. Come on, get on, get on. Alright. In fact, if any of you are watching at home and you saw a bumper that was right before the broadcast of this episode, you would know the answer. It's right there. True that, but did they uh, got the whole thing? Hmm? Did they got the whole thing? They well, got... I'm sure we would have gotten it. I mean, oh, that yeah. time the bar was green before uh, <laughs> okay. the NBA show was taken from you by Unify. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll recap the question again. <coughs> uh, how many Who is this for, by the way? All the audience? I don't want Just everyone here. Okay. Yeah. So how many numbered episodes? But you have to answer two questions okay. to get the prize. How many numbered episodes okay. does the MBS show has? <coughs> the show. <laughs> Take a deal, buy three Okay, come on, guys. I'll take a shot at it. I think that I have, I this is probably the first time. Go ahead. Okay. I'll give it up, 16. Too high. Actually, <laughs> this is a very common... That's actually the amount of guess we have. But this is actually <laughs> a very, very common sense question. <clears throat> Are you Me? Yeah, you say common sense question. It's a very common sense question. Release. That's correct. Oh. 52? Oh. Awesome. Second Part question. Two. This and is Ian's going to be walking out with badges all like that. <laughs> this is going to be hard. I, I, I want to give these away. I do, I do not winning everything. Everyone needs to pick. <laughs> oh, you, you gotta okay. share. Okay. You gotta care. Okay, anyway. Um, it's the, the right thing to do. So you must be a man. To share. I'm sorry. The last, uh, the, 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 the last question ever. is going to be when is the anniversary of the MBS show? The first episode came out. What's the first episode? Look at your smartphone. Go to www.mbsshow.com. Yeah, you know, yes. This one, I'm one percent battery. Can I do it? Yes. Can that it it determines work. whether you're going to bring this home or not. So that one percent better serve you well. <laughs> no battery. <laughs> oh, this is exciting, man. This is pretty really exciting. Uh, well, I'm giving away buttons, so that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> hmm. MBSshow.com. What was the question again? When was the first show? So anyway, I'll I'll when? talk to the camera. What is it? www.facebook.com slash five nine eight seven two two three six five five one two nine one nine nine. I'm stalling. The podcast does not come wrong. I'm going to February. I am no February 20... 25th, 2012. So you're saying the answer is February 25th, 2012? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> In fact, well, now that we've crossed the midnight line, that's actually tomorrow. One year from now. True that. What, so what am I talking about? One year from then. <laughs> Tomorrow is one year from now. Congratulations, Ian. I heard that you will be giving this away, right? I will be sharing them with everyone here. And you get a badge. 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 So this is the MBS show where everyone's aware. Yay. So anyway, um, let's go to shout outs. Our next topic is shout outs. So um, I, my shout out goes to all of you guys and to all of you who attended this live show or attended the meetup. Thank you so much for making this show awesome. Even though I know you won't re- um, send me any emails or stuff. Um, <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> um, all those viewers I get, all, basically all those hits I get on my page. Uh, tells me that somebody's visiting it and um, I want to thank you all and thank you all so much for being here live and stuff. Um, I really appreciate it and I don't know what to say. I mean, thank you. Just a big thank you. 
And for me, to all our listeners, all of you who voted in the NBA Show Awards to make it possible, and all of you who had to bear with, you know, our derps. technical glitch. Yes, our derps for the year. The biggest derp of the year. There should be an award for that. I should be yeah. super, you know. Mm. Biggest oh. derp of the world or something like that. No, so thank you very much for bearing with us and thank you for watching our live stream. And of course, one last very big thank you to Charlie over here for oh. being our brand new Plan B event sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Any shout out to you, Carl? Uh, shout out to all our guests who actually went on the show. A shout out to all of you who are in the live stream, and who are shout out to all of you in the live show. All three of you are awesome. Let's go do more podcasts. Yeah, what's up? What's up? So, One more year. So it's like forever. Oh my! Uh, I love you. Yeah. I love you forever. As long as they call me Liv. <laughs> okay. As long so, as the universe <laughs> name this. Okay, so anyway, if you have any questions or suggestions or um, you want to contact the show or just talk to us, um, you can email us at mbishow at gmail.com. Um, again, emails? Well, you can contact any one of us on our emails as well. Norman's is norman at the mbshow.com. We still need to activate that one. I haven't activated that one. Oh, okay. I'll get it activated for you this week. See how much I dirt. You thought he had the bad top, but this is the worst one right here. You can contact Charlie at the mbsshow.com and the one that's activated, Daniel at the mbsshow.com works. You can contact me. But send us anything, questions, no spammers, but yeah. You know, send us questions, any suggestions, and of course, you know, if you think you have a, you would like to be on a show or stuff like that, we're welcome to any suggestions, anything. Just let us know and, you know, we'll consider it. We'll get in touch. No worry. Awesome. We don't bite. I do. Hard. <laughs> he does. He does. I don't, you know. So send it, so, send it to me. Um, and I'll send it to him so you'll buy me instead. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you can also reach us on Twitter. My The show's Twitter um, account is at the MBS show. Mine is at Norman Sanzo. And you? Mine is at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. And I have a Twitter too. It's Drexy, D-R-C-X-Y. Ooh. Yep. So he's rarely show his face online. So better get on Take him. a good look at Dude. this. <laughs> So anyway, and also subscribe and rate us on iTunes and also like our Facebook page. Link will be right. Link will be provided in the show notes, which I think you guys see it. I hope so. <laughs> and well, that's about it. Yep, that's it. So once again, thank you everyone for coming out and thank you for watching our live stream. Yeah, we know we're three hours late, but heck, that's Malaysian timing. <laughs> Taken from you by Unify. <laughs> So anyway, I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. I'm Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.